Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting beside me. But guess what? That's not what this video is about. I am doing a product review, child, for Art of the Roots Clarity and Creativity Oil. Let me see can I get a good shot here. Whoa, here we go. Clarity and creativity. This is an oil that I use whenever I am creating, like, not just my sculptures, child, but mainly when I have writer's block. So, um, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've created. First, let's talk about how I use this oil. So, first of all, let me see. I can't remember if it smells good or not, but... It's not it's not an oil that's meant to smell good. It doesn't smell bad, but this is a this is a take care of business oil. It, it actually kind of smells a little bit like money to me, like new money. But what I like to do is shake it, and I like to say I'm saturated in divine creativity, darling. I like to put it on my third eye for your imagination. I like to put it in the back of my neck. I also like to place it like right here on my temples. And I place it on my um, two inches above my navel, which is my third chakra, which has to do with your with clear thinking, your mental ability. And then I place, I dab it two inches below my navel. Um, and this is my second chakra, which is your, your chakra that is responsible for creativity. I, yes. So I just dab a little bit, just, you know. Shake it. I am saturated in divine creativity, darling. I am open to, you know, God's divine creativity. I have a whole little routine, but basically, I take it and I dab it all in those spots, especially my my third chakra, which has to do with my with mental clarity. My second chakra, which is the area for creativity. Now, in addition to using this oil, which is amazing, like when I first started using this oil. I, um, I had a little bit of a headache, which I knew it was working, but I also knew that my chakras were, were, were closed because that's why I felt that tension. But when my chakras are open, or if some people say chakras, when they are open, um, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't get a headache. I don't want to start the video over and over and over again. So basically, so I just, I, I place the oil in these spots, but then there are other things that I do also, especially when I have writer's block. Now for me personally, writer's block is basically when God want one thing to happen in the story and I want another thing to happen. It's when I don't understand that I am required to be a receiver of the information as opposed to a creator. So there are two types of writing. There's a type of writing when, like if I was, when I was working on my doctoral dissertation, or my thesis that to me is the easiest writing because I hate to say it because it doesn't require thinking not that much because you're regurgitating research you're gathering together everything that everybody else has read all of their data your data you know everything you are putting it together and it's a very left brain procedure you know everything you know what I mean it's not like I have to make it up or anything like that so to me that kind of writing I need to just get up early, you know, as long as I go to bed, get eight hours of sleep, and start writing, let's say, at five o'clock in the morning, I'm good. Like, I can write, I don't usually, now you might need, the oil, I'm not going to say what somebody else might need, but I'm going to tell you when this oil works for me, okay? So when I'm doing research type writing, it's very easy. There is a flow, because I don't have to rely on information coming in from other realms of reality i'm just dealing with 3d you know 3d information i'm gathering information that other people have written um, or even if i'm writing about like let's say i was going to write about five ways to do blah 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 that's not i don't need oil for that but i mean for me it's kind of like it's really it comes from a it comes from the the left brain it i don't really need the simulation it flows, you know, everything is good. Now, whew, now when I have writer's block, child, 
that is when I'm writing fiction because fiction to me is a whole nother ball game. So basically I have my um, Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have book one, two, and three. I'm working on book four, right? And child, let me tell you about this. Now me and this oil, okay, I get stuck when I feel like, you know, I don't want something to happen or I remember I had a hard time starting book two because the story started off in a really weird place with a character that I wasn't even familiar with. And every time I would try to write the book, you know, I would hear this voice talking about something that was so foreign to me. And I was thinking like, I, this doesn't make sense to me. Like, I, like it just didn't make sense. It's like, so anyway so this is what I do guys so I showed you I dab this oil right on my little my temples definitely a third eye sometimes if you just put it on your third eye you're good I put it behind my neck I put it on my second chakra which is two inches below my navel I put it on my third chakra which is two inches above my navel and then I have my um, carnelian gemstone this is a heart gemstone I mean a heart shaped carnelian I like to place it two inches below my navel. Yes, I do, child. I have to hold it down there because it stimulates my second chakra. It stimulates, which is a chakra for creativity. And then I also, whenever I'm writing or do anything creative, I need my um, my angelite or celestite type gemstone. So as long as I have an orange and a blue gemstone, in addition to my oil child okay I'm good you know the chakras are opening up the information is starting to flow but then I have one more thing that I do that is like super crazy I made a dress that is hideous it is so ugly it has every chakra color <laughs> seriously the top part is like purple then it goes blue it's like I made it out of different t-shirts but it represents all of the chakras it is very ugly and I only wear it when I'm writing so it's my writing dress so I have my writing dress I have my carnelian and my celestite gemstones I have my out of the roots clarity uh, and creativity oil and for me I like to write by candlelight that's just me I like the house to be completely dark and usually especially only for fiction for fiction, I like to write at night. For nonfiction, I like to write in the morning. The left brain. For left brain writing, it's in the morning. For right brain writing, it's in. I like to write like when it's. I would say when the entities are out, darling. When the when the spirits when the spirits are coming out to help me. So I like to I like to just have my candles and I like to I like um, what do you call it? It's like a steam machine, but not a Oh God, I can't think of the name. It's like you can put like little essential oils in it, and steam comes out and it changes color. So I just, so if I just have that and a yellow legal pad and a pencil, I like to write with a pencil. I like to write really small, <laughs> especially when it's flowing. So this is for fiction, because with fiction it's like, well, if, if anybody is, if you're watching this, you're probably written you know, all of it. You know, different characters are talking. Not only are different characters talking, right? Now you have to figure out the um, the atmosphere and where they are, and you you are actually transferring this entire world that's being downloaded to you. This dialogue from all of these beings, child. You know, you got, you got mermaids talking, <laughs> you know, and to me, to get into that world. Gotta have something, you know what I mean? And um, I always need. I'm not gonna say it's all because of this creativity oil, darling. But I'm gonna tell you when people say it does it work. I, I I don't know. I don't know if it works. I just know I finished the book. I just know that whenever I get stuck, I start looking for other things. So um, when I first started out, I was only using the gemstones. But then over time, I started using. You know, um, I started looking like, oh my God, I'm stuck again. So I would use my oils. Now another thing I found out for myself personally 
is when I use my gemstones and my oils, the first day that I sit down to write, nothing is really coming to me. Now this is just me by the way guys. The first day I can just feel like, you know, it's like you get, I put on my, my writer's dress and I put the gemstones in the appropriate places. I have my little, you know, all of my little blue gemstones around my neck and I have my carnelian going, you know what I'm saying? I got my creativity candles going as well and I'm sitting down and I got the, and nothing is here but I know it's coming. It's almost like, you know how you know something is coming? Like, brother, it's you know what I'm saying right so I can feel that it's coming but it's just not here yet it's not ready yet but the first couple days I'll just write whatever you know I'll start just reading um, like other fiction or whatever I doodle I'm just letting spirit know that I am ready to receive by the third day I have writing diarrhea darling I do so I, it's a system that I'm just kind of used to right now so by this point, um, I'm still using my gemstones, still dabbing on my oils, and I'm ready to go. But the thing is, usually by the fifth day, I don't need it anymore. I don't know why Keisha, one of you guys have seen it. I, by the fifth day, I, once I'm in that mode and once those channels are open, I'm good. I don't need to keep applying the oils. I don't need to... Um, where the gemstones I am just completely good now another thing I just want to you know share with now you this clarity and creativity oil can also be used for just general um, creativity so if you've been watching my channel or not darling I love to make things right so here is a rooster that I made these are real rooster feathers by the way and you can get them very cheaply off of Amazon and this is my little rooster face and um, it's a protection rooster protects your reputation uh, anyway um, I'm gonna put the pattern on my Etsy site but as you can see again this this rooster has a stop gossip stop um, rumors type thing it has a spell in it at this point in my life if I'm making something now just recently I was just for some reason I don't know but I received I was spiritually led to create this um, I call it a manifesting wish doll and it is a doll to prevent jealousy I don't know what possessed me to make this but for some reason in my spirit I just felt like I needed to make it. So this doll again has a spell. I never make things I don't like darling. And I know people sometimes make stuff and as I'm not into that. But this is I love it. It has like a little lion medallion which is made of labradorite, which protects you from jealousy and envy. And you know, just I don't know, I just love I just love making things. Also I made this, this is a, a money pig, I don't know if most of you um, know that the pig is associated with abundance, I don't know if you can see but I thought like the eyes are made with, um, it has like a money, like the money symbol in it, but anyway and it, the, to me this pig it has like a little zip here where you can actually put money in here, you can put your little wish and desires in here. Um, and the feet, you know, has coins. So basically, when I am in the mode of creativity, oh, I have one more thing I want to show you, y'all. So one day I was just sitting at my computer, and this is, I made a, a pregnant sock doll. I know, why? I don't know. But anyway, this is a pregnant sock doll, and I made her eyes out of flower petals. I don't know if you can see the depth in her eyes. But I just wanted the eyes to be different, right? And I don't know if you can see her belly. I thought, oh my God, this is so bomb. But then her legs have are like jointed here. And I made this pregnant sock doll completely. Oh, come on, baby. Sorry. Look, I know I have her head all messed up. I want to keep her, her on the camera. 
but I made her out of a single pair of socks. So when it comes down to this oil, ah, this clarity and creativity oil, child, <laughs> to me it's like water. It's like I like to mix it, or not mix it, but I like to use it with my King Solomon's oil and my Psychic Intuition oil, which I don't know where it is right now, child, but basically this clarity and creativity oil is bomb okay if you are an artist or if you are a writer and you are stuck and maybe you're looking for new ideas or you're looking at a different way to a different perspective for an old idea if you are just looking to get started artistically I could highly recommend this clarity and creativity oil I think it's good for any like you know for school projects I don't know this wait wait let me see something let me get this here. clarity and creativity are out of the root this oil is bomb I highly recommend it it's only I think it's like seven dollars and seventy five cent you can get it off of Amazon. I have a link for it in my description box. But anyway, that's my product review. I think it's bomb. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.